In this video, I'm going to show how you can make the easiest vegetarian casserole on stove stovetop. So here um, are some leftover vegetables that I'm going to use. They had been roasted and I'm just going to use these vegetables. This is going to be a vegetarian rice casserole. I'm just going to also add some cooked rice. It's lumpy because um, they were stored in the refrigerator. I'm just going to break up some lumps. Mm. Right now, I'm just putting them in this um, pan. And the pan's not heated. I'm just gonna mix the ingredients first. This is probably the easiest recipe ever. And it's a foolproof recipe. It's just gonna be really delicious. So I'm just breaking up the clumps of rice. So then I can just mix everything I'm also going to add some mushrooms I'm going to add these enoki mushrooms Enoki mushrooms. I like these. Um, they are very inexpensive. You can buy these on sale for like three packets for a dollar. So this is really inexpensive. Um, and they add a very interesting texture to the dish. Um, they're not like regular mushrooms like button mushrooms or other types of mushrooms that tend to be soft. These actually taste... Um, give a very interesting texture like they're crunchy and I don't think that's the that's the correct way to describe the texture they're not crunchy like carrots or um, celery like they're not crunchy like that so if if somebody can just let me know how better to describe the texture I really appreciate it so I'm going to just wash these, cut these, um, and then mix them in there. Okay, so I've rinsed the mushrooms and I'm just gonna add them. I was thinking more about how to describe the texture and I'm thinking maybe like um, the way sprouts, um, bean sprouts are crunchy. I would say they're crunchy like that. Ooh. I'm just gonna um, pull these apart and then just um, just add them in like that and with mushrooms even though they might seem to add a lot of volume once you start cooking they just shrink so it's not going to um, end up being a whole lot gonna do this okay. and again I'm going to add plenty of salt because I just tend to eat things very salty and I'm just adding several pinches of pink Himalayan salt because I think pink Himalayan salt adds much more flavor mm. and then now I'm just going to add some cheese some shredded cheese I always keep several packets of these um, stocked up in the freezer when you freeze cheese they last months 
past the the expiration date and so you can keep them around months and months after and they'll still be perfectly um, good. So I think I like a lot of cheese, so So maybe I'm going to add a little bit more of cheese. And then now I'm just going to add some eggs. Again, right now I'm just mixing the ingredients. I, the stove isn't on. And I'm just going to add however many eggs necessary to just fill to the top. say I'll uh, add about mm, six to start with and then see what that feels like I think I add about mm, maybe uh, three. Maybe I'll add I'll add three more eggs. Add one more egg to make it an even ten. 
10 large eggs. I think that's good. I'll make a, I'll add a couple of more eggs to make it a dozen. I might be adding too many eggs, but well, yeah, I'll just add a dozen eggs, but really, um, you could add a little bit of water to this if you want, um, or a little bit of milk or, um, some, um, cream of mushroom, Campbell's cream of mushroom condensed soup. And I added a mix of vegetables, um, like broccoli, carrots, onions, mushrooms, um, but you could add whichever vegetables. Oh yeah, and can't forget the mushrooms. Um, and then I'm just gonna um, just cover this and just turn on the, the burner um, and then let it cook at very, very low heat, the lowest heat setting possible. And then um, that's it. And I can guarantee you this is going to be really delicious. So I'm going to put the lid on. going to cook at the lowest setting and I'm going to film this whole thing in the lowest setting setting um, but speed up um, once I've, I'm done videotaping this um, and so it'll look like it's just it got done in no time but um, I'm going to measure um, how long it's taken to cook this and that you know normally this will be done. Um, I let it cook in low heat for about 15 minutes, um, maybe 20 minutes max, but like around 15 minutes and then I just set, let it sit uh, for additional, you know, however many minutes. I'm just going to check if the inside's cooked. Oh, this is completely done now. All done. So I'm going to turn off the stove.
then now I'm gonna see if I can show you uh, better how well it's been cooked see so everything has cooked really evenly there's no real browning it, it didn't really get burnt on the sides um, and even on the inside it's actually cooked really nicely see okay So I'm gonna just cut a piece and then um, eat it. I think I'm gonna just scoot out. I don't know. Well, let's see if I can. I just scoop out a little bit of it. So see this is what it looks like. Mm. What one ingredient that I haven't um, added, which actually would make this whole dish taste so much better, is um, a can of diced tomatoes or or fresh fresh tomatoes. That would have made everything taste much better. So that was it. Easy peasy stovetop rice and vegetable casserole.